Between the two world wars, Henry J. Kaiser and his construction company helped build highways and massive dams, including the Grand Coulee and Hoover Dams. But they had never built ships. And in 1940, more than anything else, the United States and Great Britain needed ships. England was already at war with Nazi Germany, and the U-boat Wolf Packs were sinking cargo ships at an alarming rate. On 20 December 1940, despite his inexperience, Kaiser signed a contract with Great Britain to build cargo ships. Workers and management wasted no time. Within hours of the signing, planning for the first yard began. Ground was broken within a month. Union workers voluntarily worked through heavy rain that would normally have shut construction down. And the first keel was laid 78 days after shipyard construction began on April 14th of 1941. The first ship, the Ocean Vanguard, was launched August 16th of 1941. Despite the shipyard's inexperience, she was so well built she survived a collision on her maiden voyage. During the war years, Henry Kaiser's Pacific Coast shipyards built more merchant ships at less cost than any other shipyard in the nation. His workers made it possible. Thousands of workers from 16 different craft unions contributed to this production miracle. They came from all over the country, men who were veterans of the shipbuilding industry, teenagers working summers to pay for college, housewives that have never held a job. People from all walks of life and all races contributed to the war effort. The Kaiser Company Incorporated established a health care plan for its workers, but it didn't warn them about the dangers of asbestos. Subcontractors who installed asbestos insulation were called snowbirds because of the dust that covered them. John's Manville preformed pipe insulation was cut to fit with power saws in a ventilated area, but no protection was given to the workers who actually installed the insulation aboard the ships. The U.S. Navy established standards for shipyard workers in 1943, but the standards were not enforced for 30 years. Thousands of people who did their bit for the war effort in Kaiser shipyards are now being diagnosed with asbestos-related diseases. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by Asbestos.net, a leading resource on all aspects of asbestos and mesothelioma. Our priority is to inform victims about the devastating effects of asbestos exposure, mesothelioma, asbestos cancer, asbestosis, and other asbestos-related diseases, and to advise them with a wealth of information. Individuals whose lives have been touched by mesothelioma have numerous questions and concerns. Their caregivers and family members also need accurate, reliable information. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or asbestos cancer and need more information, we invite you to visit and explore the thousands of pages of oncologist-reviewed material on asbestos.net, to call our convenient toll-free number shown below and speak with a mesothelioma specialist, or to use the simple contact form found at asbestos.net to request a free copy of our informative books, custom inserts, and DVD. Asbestos.net, information and help for patients and families.